Hey there, poker peeps. Thanks for tuning in to this little training video on how to make a post flop pop up. My name is Sky Matsuhashi with Smart Poker Study. So you can see on this table right here, this is my KISS HUD, K I S S, keep it simple, stupid HUD. And currently, I have under the CBET stat, I have this post flop pop up made. It's the exact same thing right over here. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this for yourself so you can start utilizing it to exploit your opponent's post flop tendencies. Now, if you want to learn exactly how to utilize the various stats in the pop up, just click the link above to take to take yourself to the podcast episode where I discuss using this pop up. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create the pop up. I'm not going to dive into the stats and what they necessarily mean. You can learn that elsewhere, right? So, Let's see here. In Poker Tracker 4, the first thing you're going to do is open the Edit HUD profiles. Let's actually get this out of here. We don't need that anymore. Clear up the screen. Choose the Kiss HUD or whichever HUD you want to put your post flop pop up on. When you go over here to pop up groups, you can see I already have the post flop all in one pop up created here, all the different stats right here. But I'm going to show you how to do this on your own. So hit new right up top. And let's just call it post flop. And what we're going to do is start building it out. What I'm really going to do is just show you the top portion because you're going to follow the exact same process to build this one down here at the bottom portion. Up top are all the C betting stats. So when you're C betting, these are all your opponents facing C bet stats. When your opponent is C betting, these are all your opponents C betting stats. So you're the one facing C bets down here. That's the difference. Of course, this is broken up between in position stats and out of position. So you can see fold to C bet is here twice in position and then out of position. Call C bet is twice, but float. That's already an in position stat because a player can only float in position. Donk and probe, they can only do that from out of position. So that's kind of automatic right here. But I separated it this way because, hey, it just breaks everything up, makes it a little bit simpler, a little bit easier. Now, as we're going through this, if you don't like my color coding on backgrounds or foregrounds or, or HUD stack colors, hey, go ahead, use your own. I ain't stopping you, you know. You want to make this pop up so it's user friendly for your eyeballs and your brain to wrap your head around, of course. So let's go ahead and get started up here. This plus button is going to be your friend. You're going to be using it a ton today. Let's just add a few lines because we're going to need them. All right, so first up, add text. Just put a space. And I'll show you why we're doing this right now, right? Add text, add another space. Good, so we've got those two. That's gonna account for this space right here and then this one right here. The next ones you're gonna have, now you can do F for flop or T and R, whatever you want. I'm just gonna do F right here, T. I'm basically gonna make, uh, make the pop-up match exactly what you already see over here on the left and the one down here. So flop turn river. Now I'm not a big fan of these slashes here, so I get rid of the separator. I just prefer letters and numbers on my uh, on my thing. Now let's go add text, put a space. This one is this little gap right here. The next one, text, will be in position because these are all in position stats. Add text, just a space again. You can see that accounts for that. Now down here, we're gonna get into the out of position section. Space. Nice, so we've got that part built out, right? Let's start just labeling our stats. Whoops, not stat, I apologize. Add text, fold to C bet here. Call C bet. Float, of course, you can build these to read whatever you want. If you want it to be more detailed, um, or not, totally up to you. Once again, you can see we are double dipping on some of these stats here because of course we wanna see them in position versus out of position. Donk and then probe.
And this one will, of course, be a horizontal line separator down there, kind of like what we see here. So we've got all those all those stats in, right? Uh, or all the stat names. Now let's start adding the stats. So you're going to go plus, add statistic, and then I simply type in some key terms from it, right? So CBET, this is fold to CBET. Remember, this top section is you making a CBET, so you want to see your opponents fold to CBET. Scroll on down, find them all alphabetically, fold to flop CBET, fold to turn CBET, fold to river CBET. And since we're here, no need to hit OK and exit and go through all the plus things. Let's just uh, now go call, flop, call, turn, call, river, CBET, call, flop, call, turn, and I'll show you how to move these around. Uh, call river seabet right there. Hey, let's go ahead and add them in over here too. Uh, call flop, call turn, call river, and then fold to flop, fold to turn, fold to river. Awesome, but we don't want our HUD to look like this, right? So call flop is going to go here. Call turn, call rivs, call flop seabet. We are down here. Call turn, call riv, fold to flop, fold to turn, fold to riv. Nice, we've got all those bad boys in. So let's now add the non CBET stats. Float. Now float flop, float turn, float river right there. Let's go ahead and dunk. Donk flop, donk turn, donk river, and then probe. Now, as you can see right here, uh, under probe, there's a blank under the flop because you can't probe on the flop. You can only probe the next street after your opponent checked behind on the prior street. So all we have for probe is turn and river. So uh, we got the floats in. Let's move the donks on down. Probe turn, probe river. But as you can see, the turn is under the flop column. We don't want that. So let's add text. Just put a space. Slide this bad boy over. Bam! Now we've got our HUD looking pretty darn good here. But here's the thing. Look how it's kind of like offset and everything. It's not as pretty straight up and down in columns and rows as this. Just click on the Arrange in Grid button. Shabang! We're looking pretty good here. Now, for my own personal preference, I like separating the in position versus out of position with different background colors. So what you're going to do is select one of the in position stats, hold the control key on your keyboard down, and then click all the others. You can actually click up here to scroll up and down and hold control and click those if you want. But all of these, we need to turn the transparency false right here so that uh, it's not a transparent stat and then you know I like to keep it black and it's already a black background for us right there looking good uh, the other thing we need to do is this is all in position right if we click on just one of these stats here has position it's currently under all possibility so it's a total number but we don't want that we want all of these on the flop to be in position on the flop. You have to do this separate for each street. So now, um, oh, all positions. All possibilities here, in position on the turn. In position on the river, great. So they're all in position stats. Things are looking pretty good. You're gonna do this exact same work down here. And like I said earlier, choose whatever color you want for the background. Let's go with the darker, uh, not too dark of a gray. Turn that false. Bam! We've got it right there. So what you're going to do at this point, and like I said, I'm just showing you the top portion of it. Hit apply. And then what that does, it's going to save this post flop pop-up in one of our pop-up groups right here. Go to the table group and then select whichever stat you want to click on to have that uh, pop-up pop up. Now let's change it to post flop and hit apply once again. So we saved it, now we've applied it to the CBET turn stat. Once this finishes loading, we'll come down here. You can see the HUD disappeared and it came back. Here is the 
full HUD breakdown right here. It'll take a sec for the stats to pop up. That's on the CBET stat, but the one that we just now com completed uh, under the turn CBET stat, pop that up, bam! All the stats are right there, what we just built in position and out of position here. So what you're gonna do at this point is come back, go to pop-up groups once again, and then complete your work down here. Add another text. I mean, you know, do all the same work that we just did. You can pause the video. You see all the stats right here. Bam, you can complete it. Now, you see I have some color coding in place. Um, I have another video, and you can click the link uh, directly up above at the top of this video to see how I do my color coding. But just real quick, it's basically select a stat, and then you're going to input your color ranges right here. If you have any preset ones that you've done before in the past, oh, you don't need me to teach you. You already know how to do it, right? But there you go. There's the color coding. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I want you to spend at least 20 minutes right now creating both or creating this entire pop-up for yourself. Assign it to one of your current stats in your pop-up or in your HUD, and then go ahead and use it over your next week while you're trying to work out how to exploit your opponent's post-flop plays. Good luck to you. Thanks for subscribing, for liking the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.